Hey, what's going on everybody? Happy Saturday. Hope you guys are having a nice start of your weekend here. We got 15 matchups on this lovely Saturday. Should be a good one. A lot of good matchups here. A lot of action to start the weekend off. Uh, before I get started, go and like and subscribe, guys. Support the channel. You guys have been amazing. Go ahead and check out all my links in the description below. And if you guys aren't already using a bookie, go ahead and check out my offers in the description with BetUS and Bovada. My two favorite bookies that I do use pretty much daily. Um, those links are in the description. Use promo code PARLAYPIX in the checkout to get the bonus. So yeah, let's hop right into it, guys. 15 matchups, starting with the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Chicago Cubs. Pitching for Arizona is Merrill Kelly with an ERA of 4.46. He is 6-7. Pitching for the Cubs is Alec Mills with an ERA of 4.64. He is 4-3. The Cubs opening up as the favorite at minus 138. Arizona plus 128 with the over-under at 9. The last start for Kelly, he's 1-0. Pitched eight innings, gave up four runs, had six strikeouts for Mills. He's 0-1, pitched four innings, gave up one run, had six strikeouts. Yeah, you know, I like the Cubs in this matchup. You know, they looked really good yesterday, pretty much dominating Arizona. Um, hard to trust Arizona. You know, Merrill Kelly on the mound doesn't really make me too excited to pick Arizona on the upset bid here. Uh, I think I'm going to roll with Chicago. Next matchup, we have the New York Yankees versus the Boston Red Sox. Pitching for the Yankees is Jamison Tylon with an ERA of 4.60. He is 5-4. Pitching for the Red Sox is Nathan Eovaldi with an ERA of 3.49. He's 9-5. Boston opening up as the favorite at minus 150. The Yankees plus 140 with the over-under at 9.5. The last start for Tylon, he's uh, 1-0. Pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, and had three strikeouts. Free of Aldi, he's 0-1. Pitched five innings, gave up one run, had seven strikeouts. And uh, these last starts for both pitchers were against each other. So, um, yeah, you know, <sighs> this is a tough matchup for me because I feel like the Yankees are getting very, very good money here at plus 140. Um I like the Red Sox. I mean, this is a toss. This is a, one of the toughest ones on the schedule for me. I could see it going either way. I'm going to lean with Boston. I just like what Boston's doing this season, you know, playing very well lately. Um, you know, it's just an ongoing struggle with me. I can't trust the Yankees. Pick them when they're big underdogs, they lose. Pick them when they're big favorites, they lose. I just don't know where to go with the Yankees. So, I'm going to go with the Red Sox, but good value with the Yankees. Add them to an underdog parlay and a definitely, you know, a definite winnable game for the Yankees here. Next matchup, we have the Atlanta Braves versus the Philadelphia Phillies. Pitching for the Braves is Drew Smiley with an ERA of 4.50. He is 7-3. Pitching for the Phillies is Vince Velasquez with an ERA of 5.00. He is 3-4. The Phillies opening up as favorites at minus 112. Atlanta plus 102 with the over-under at 9.5. The last start for Smiley, he's 0-1. Pitched five innings, gave up three runs, and had six strikeouts for Velasquez. He's 1-0. Pitched five innings, zero, gave up zero runs, and had four strikeouts. Um, another tough matchup here. You know, I actually like... You're basically going to pick them. Not much of a pitching advantage here. Um, you know, Smiley coming off an actual good game last game, not allowing a run. Um, or giving up three runs, sorry. Uh, it was Vince coming off a really good game here. But um, I think I'm going to take the Braves plus one and a half here. You're basically in a pick em. No pitching advantage, really. Um, I'm going to take the Braves plus one and a half in this matchup. Next matchup, we have the Washington Nationals versus the Baltimore Orioles. Pitching for the Nationals is Max Scherzer with an ERA of 2.83. He's 7-4. Pitching for the Orioles is Spencer Watkins with an ERA of 1.65. He's 2-0. Oh. 
Washington opening up as favorites at minus 178. Baltimore plus 168 with the over-under at 9.5. The last start for Scherzer, he's 1-0, pitched seven innings, gave up four runs, had eight strikeouts. For Watkins, he's 1-0, pitched six innings, gave up one run, had seven strikeouts. Yeah, you know, Watkins has only given up three runs in his last three starts here. On paper, this is looking like a really good Baltimore upset at plus 168. You know, Spencer Watkins has been really good on the mound. But, you know, so is Max Scherzer here. Um, I think Baltimore is one of my more intriguing underdog plays today at plus 168. I'm going to go with the Nationals. It's hard to trust Baltimore here. I do like both pitchers on the mound. I'm taking the Nationals, but uh, for a straight-up bet and the underdog round robin, go ahead and put Baltimore in because I just can definitely see them winning this game here. But I'm going to lean with the Nationals. Next matchup, we have the Chicago White Sox versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Pitching for the White Sox is Carlos Rodon with an ERA of 2.14. He's 8-3. Pitching for the Brewers is Corbin Burns with an ERA of 2.16. He's 5-4. Milwaukee opening up as the favorite at minus 118. The White Sox plus 108 with the over-under at 7.5. The last start for Rodon, he used 1-0, pitched 7 innings, gave up no runs, had 10 strikeouts. For Burns, he's 1-0, pitched 8 innings, gave up no runs, had 12 strikeouts. This series, you know, definitely probably the toughest, probably the toughest series in this slate here. Um, you know, two elite teams, two pretty elite pick, two pretty elite pitchers this season. Um, runs are going to be pretty slim in this matchup. You can go either way on the money line here. In close matchups, I always just go with the underdog. Take them up plus one and a half. That's probably my play here. Going to roll with the White Sox plus one and a half. In you know, in a really great matchup here. Next matchup, we have the Detroit Tigers versus the Kansas City Royals. Pitching for the Tigers is Casey Mize with an ERA of 3.44. He's 5-5. Five and five. Pitching for the Royals is Carlos Hernandez with an ERA of 4.56. He is 1-1. One one. Kansas City opening up as the favorite at minus 110. Detroit plus 100 with the over-under at 10. The last start for Mize, he is 1-0. Pitched four innings, gave up no runs, had two strikeouts. For Hernandez, he's 0-1, pitched four innings, gave up two runs, and had six strikeouts. Yeah, you know, love Detroit on the plus money here, you know. Um, I like Casey Mize on the mound. He's been really good. Um, there's really no value in this game, so why not just take Detroit? They could definitely win these games here. You know, we're going to roll with Detroit plus one and a half here. All right, next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Angels versus the Minnesota Twins. Pitching for the Angels is Patrick Sandoval with an ERA of 4.00. He is 2-4. Pitching for the Twins is Jose Barrios with an ERA of 3.69. He's 7-4. Minnesota opening up as the favorite at minus 125. LA plus 115 with the over-under at 9. The last start for Sandoval, he's 0-1. Pitched 7 innings. Gave up four runs and had nine strikeouts. For Barrios, he's 0-1. Pitched six innings, gave up five runs and had eight strikeouts. No real pitching advantage in this matchup here. Um, I can never really trust the Twins as the favorite. I just don't really want to do it. I like the Angels. Pretty good value at plus 115. And um, yeah, you know, we're going to roll with the Angels plus one and a half here. Next matchup, we have the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Cincinnati Reds. Pitching for the Cardinals is Jake Woodford with an ERA of 4.06. He's 2-1. Pitching for the Reds is Louis Castillo with an ERA of 4.39. He is 3-10. Cincinnati opening up as the favorite at minus 178. St. Louis plus 168 with the over-under at 9.5. The last start for Woodford, he is 1-0. Pitched 5 innings. Gave up one run, had six strikeouts. For Castillo, he's 0-1, pitched six innings, gave up no runs, and had eight strikeouts. Yeah, you know, he loved the Reds here. Castillo coming off a, you know, no runs in his last matchup against the Brewers. 
been very solid for the Reds here, despite the the win and loss category. But um, you know, Woodford's been pretty solid too. I like the Reds in this matchup, but uh, go ahead and take the Cardinals in a round robin. Really, plus 168, you know, they could definitely win this game. Uh, good value with the Cardinals here, but, uh, you know, I'm going to roll with the Reds. Next matchup, we have the Texas Rangers versus the Houston Astros. Pitching for the Rangers is Kyle Gibson with an ERA of 2.86. He's 6-2. Six Pitching for the Astros is Framber Valdez with an ERA of 3.26. He's 5-2. Houston opening up as the favorite at minus 185. Texas plus 175 with the over-under at 8.5. The last start for Gibson. He's 0-1, pitched five innings, gave up eight runs, and had two strikeouts for Valdez. He's 0-1, pitched six innings, gave up four runs, and had four strikeouts. Yeah, you know, Gibson, he's been amazing this year, you know, making the All-Star game. Been a phenomenal pitcher for the Rangers. You know, coming off a couple bad games, giving up a lot of runs here. But overall, I mean, he's been phenomenal on the mound. You know, we're going to roll with the Astros here. I do like Framber on the mound. And I just love the Astros. Even if Gibson has a good game, you know, once he gets taken out, it's going to be up to the bullpen to hopefully stop this incredible batting lineup for the Astros here. I think it's going to be tough. I'm going to roll with the Astros here. But, um... Huge value for the Rangers with Kyle Gibson on the mound. Add him to the round robin or a straight up bet plus 175. It's huge money, but uh, we're taking Houston here. Next matchup, we have the Toronto Blue Jays versus the New York Mets. Pitching for the Blue Jays is Hyun Jin Ru with an ERA of 3.32. He's 9 and 5. Pitching for the Mets is Taiwan Walker with an ERA of 2.99. He's 7 and 3. Toronto opening up as the favorite at minus 113. The Mets plus 103 with the over under at 8. The last start for Jin Ryu, he is 1 0, pitched 7 innings, gave up no runs, had 4 strikeouts. For Walker, he's 1 0. He only pitched half of an inning, gave up 5 runs, had 0 strikeouts, had a rough. That game against Pitt was very crazy in those runs that he allowed. That was an insane game. Um, really tough matchup here. Two really good pitchers on the mound. Uh, you know, Taiwan coming off a really bad game, but I feel like that was very skewed. And uh, from that inning, um, another tough matchup here. I don't, I don't, I don't know the best play here. Um, I like Toronto. I just like the Toronto batters more, especially with um, I can't even think of his name now, but uh. Love love Toronto. It'll come to me. Love Toronto. I wouldn't say I love Toronto. This is a tough one here. You can go either way. It's basically a pick em. I'm going to lean with the Blue Jays here, but uh, take the Mets if you want to take the Mets. I mean, there's really no value in this game. Maybe the over might be the bet. Maybe the over might be it. I just feel like both these pitchers will probably give up some runs here once the bullpens come out because they got really good batters on both ends. But I'm going to roll with Toronto slight, slightly. Next matchup, we have the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the San Francisco Giants. Pitching for the Pirates is Will Crow with an ERA of 6.12. He's 1-5. Pitching for the Giants is Kevin Gosman with an ERA of 1.84. He's 9-3. San Francisco opening up as big favorites at minus 250. Pittsburgh plus 210 with the over-under at 8. The last start for Crow, he's 1-0. Pitched five innings, gave up four runs, had three strikeouts. For Gosman, he's 1-0. Pitched three innings, gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Yeah, you know, love the Giants in this one. Um, Kevin Gosman, you know, been elite this season. Um, It's going to be a tough matchup for the Pirates here. Rolling with the Giants. um, Plus 210, you know. Go ahead and take that chance on the Pirates if you want to. I mean, the highest value, I think, on the board so far. Add them to the underdog route, Rob, and if they do pull off the win, that's insane money right there. But um, I'm going to stick with the Giants. The next matchup, we have the Colorado Rockies versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Pitching for the Rockies is Kyle Freeland with an ERA of 5.36. He's 1-4. Pitching for the Dodgers is Tony Gonsolin with an ERA of 2.83. He's 1-1. LA opening up as the favorite at minus 250. Colorado plus 210 with the over under at 9. 
The last start for Freeland, he's 0-1, pitched six innings, gave up three runs, and had four strikeouts. For Gonsolin, he is 0-1, pitched three innings, gave up three runs, and had three strikeouts. I mean, another game, you know, rolling with the Dodgers, add them to your par- favorites parlays, um, and then, you know, put Colorado in the underdog round robin. Or, you know, if you want to put a couple bucks on them, a huge payout at plus 210. If you want to parlay parlay them up with, um, I forget the even last matchup I just talked about. Parlay them up with the Pirates, huge payday there. But um going to roll with the Dodgers like Tony on the mound. Let's hope the Dodgers can come and take care of business against the Rockies. Next matchup, we have the Oakland Athletics versus the Seattle Mariners. Pitching for Oakland is Chris Bassett with an ERA at 3.31. He's 10-3. and three. Pitching for the Mariners is Logan Gilbert with an ERA of 3.63. He is 4-2. and two. Oakland opening up as the favorite at minus 135. Seattle plus 125 with the over-under at 7.5. The last start for Bassett, he is 0-1. Pitched seven innings, gave up three runs, and had eight strikeouts. For Gilbert, he's 1-0. Pitched five innings. Gave up two runs and had nine strikeouts. Very tough matchup here. Pretty even pitching match here. It's been a pretty low scoring series between these two teams here. Um, I'm gonna lean with the with the A's here. I kind of I just trust the A's more, but um, wouldn't surprise me if Seattle wins this game here. Pretty good value at plus one twenty five. You know, Seattle's been. Kind of surprising playing, you know, really good this season. Um, But I'm going to lean with Oakland, but I don't hate the Seattle play here. All right, next matchup, we have the San Diego Padres versus the Miami Marlins. Pitching for the Padres is Ryan Weathers with an ERA of 2.91. He has 4-2. Pitching for the Marlins is Ross Detweiler with an ERA of 6.06. Um... Currently, he is two and three. Couldn't really find that, but uh, San Diego opening up as the favorite at minus one forty-one. Miami plus one ten with the over/under at eight. The last start for Weathers, he is zero and one. Pitched two innings, gave up no runs, and had one strikeout. Um, the last start for Ross. Um, Ross, you know he's he hasn't really played too many. Uh, Innings. The highest he's played in his last five matchups uh, were three innings. He's barely playing an inning. His last game, he pitched not. Uh, did, he pitched a half an inning, gave up. You know, had a strike. The game before that, he pitched one inning, gave up eight runs. Rough game for the, him. He then the, you know the game before that, he pitched. He pitched two in. He pitched two innings and gave up five runs. It's not. I don't. I just don't like like the looks of, of Ross on the mound for the Marlins here. I think I'm gonna roll with the Padres. You know, Ryan Weathers has been really good all season for the Padres here. Then the last matchup on the board, we have the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Cleveland Indians. Pitching for Cleveland is J.C. Mahia with an ERA of 7.53. He is one in five. Currently can't find who is pitching for the Rays. I'm sure that'll be released probably when I'm done recording this video. But uh, Tampa Bay opening up as the favorite at minus 132. Cleveland plus 105 with the over-under at 9. The last start for Mahia. He is 0-1, pitched four innings, gave up four runs, had eight strikeouts. His prior two games before that, he gave up six runs in each game. He hasn't been good on the mound this season for Cleveland, giving up a lot of runs. Really hard to trust Cleveland here. No value in picking Cleveland. Rolling with Tampa Bay. And that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Saturday. And I'll see you guys Sunday. Have a good one.